Hey everybody, I had to replace the entire headlight assembly in a 98 Chevy S10. I did a video about replacing the bulb, but this, the whole headlight assembly had a hole in it. So they, I failed inspection. So I had to replace the entire assembly. So this video shows you how to do that. So just remember with these, you don't need tools to take the headlight out. You just pull that little pin up and the whole thing pulls forward. You can take off the wiring harnesses and um, from the three light, from the three bulbs, and you can remove the whole thing. So you got one there, the middle one, and that one there. That's the new one. Now the new one comes with the bulbs already in it, so you didn't, so I didn't have to do a lot of extra work. I got my bulbs. So there's the new one. And like I said, it already has bulbs in it. So all you have to do is take the wires off of the old one and um, apply them to the new one. Except on the, the, see the one, the small one on the left side of the screen? Okay, that one, you have to kind of put in there. You have to twist it in. Now that bulb I was able to keep. And the one to the right of that I was able to keep also because the new one came with bulbs, so that was that was nice. Now again, this is a, a 98 Chevy S10. This may work for other Chevy vehicles. This is how you remember, when you put these things in, if you ever do have to do that, you're gonna put them in and you're gonna twist them. Now with the one on the side on the left there, it was very small, I didn't have a lot of space to move my hands to twist it in, so I got needle nose pliers. You're gonna put it in with your hand and then you're gonna use the needle nose to twist it to lock it in place because it was cold when I was doing it, so I didn't want to break the plastic. So be careful because remember, a lot of these components are made out of uh, plastic. So that's all I pretty much had to do with that. The hardest part was to um, put the new one back in place because this truck had been in an accident, so everything didn't line up properly. So I had to, it took me a few minutes to line everything up properly. But those two, that, see that knob there and that knob there, it pushes through and on the other side it comes out and that's where you drop the locking pin down on and it kind of holds it in place. So that's everything there. And again, those little knobs, you see that? The little knob comes out and then you just slide the locking pin down over that and it holds it in place it wasn't too difficult so this is a chevy s10 it may work for like i don't know silverados or gmc vehicles but it's not a difficult fix it didn't use any tools really and that's the old one and throw that in the trash and i got extra bulbs thanks for watching have a blessed day